for these baggages to come over this nation again for the next four years. These expired drugs that can remedy and can be remedied. To come over this nation again. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's okay, you're Christy in the building. You're highly welcome. In today's video, I bring to you a message by Dr. Pastor Paul in nature concerning Nigerian government. Listen to this message attentively with full concentration and you will know that he's speaking with wisdom and you will know that the Holy Spirit is leading him to speak because he's saying the truth. Listen to this message. Like this video, share this video, subscribe if you have not, stay connected. More wonderful content will be shared here. Thank you so much and God bless you. Who is he that has had enough success in life outside of government? A person who can run his life and be successful can run an institution. We have many people whose money cannot be traced except to government. Except to public office. We don't know anything they bought or sold. Except that they were in government. And then they became rich. Who is it that has traceable record? Both in public and private life that is, that is traceable. While this, is, this happened and this happened and that happened. Who is this that has verifiable records? In, in our nation today, you see somebody, a popper today, bicycle rider today, becomes a politician tomorrow. And he has the biggest house in his, in, in his village. He has not run anything to succeed with it. The first thing he wants to run is a whole government. And he steals everything. Who is it? That has a corruption free record. Others are corruption in motion. Mobile corruption. Corruption walking. Who are those? Who are the people? Who is that? That has come out of a marginalized zone of this nation. Where it appears like people from that zone must not rule. Where others have come over and over and over again. Ruled and misruled and destroyed the whole country. Who is that person? Very, very clear. Is it not clear? The same people that brought this country into this burden of terrorism. Banditry. All of them. They conspired. It was a coalition of frustrated retired people. What they have in common was a common enemy. Not a common purpose. And they impose what we are in now on us for seven going to eight years. Where people spend time defending the institution instead of the institution defending the people. And they want us, the same wicked people. There's one I forgot. Who is he that has a heart for people? Others don't have any heart for nobody. Have a heart for the, if everybody dies one day, it doesn't matter to them. And they want to recycle themselves. Like recycle gloves that we don't use in the theater. Hey, hey. 
disposables. What Igbo people say to fiakwa. For these baggages to come over this nation again. For the next four years. These expired drugs that can remedy and can be remedied. To come over this nation again. This time their money will fail. Their occultism will fail. Their witchcraft will fail. Everything will fail. The one who will lead in the fear of God. Most of these people are the more occultic human beings. While blood is shed and it doesn't move them, but they are shedders of blood. They carry blood tested devils. They can waste a million lives to win election. And it doesn't matter. These are demonic agents.